honest with it. Be honest too. I slept with his father. Whoa. What's Dude, one thing wow. that you never told your ex? One thing I never told my ex yeah. that I was with her ex. That I was with her ex. One thing I never told my ex. That you never told him. I mean, I told this nigga damn near everything. I told him I cheated on him. I, I got with his life. homeboy after. After I talked to his friend. You out of pocket. Oh my ex. I wanted his friend. <laughs> While you was with him? <laughs> yep. Damn. But I was emotionally cheating on him. Oh, God. Emotionally? Emotionally. No, I check. All right, y'all. Check this one out. Dang, I know Buddy Hurt, he put up on his best friend in the back seat with his girl. What would you have done? Damn. Your biggest enemy is that friend at work, that work husband, because when you mad at her and she mad at you, he at work grinning. <laughs> hey guys, this is the guy who did OnlyFans girl and didn't think we were together at the time. Don't push me. Don't push. That's what happens when you can only ask your best friend. He's the one who told me. He's the one that told me. Where are you going? He's the one. Okay, bye. You're walking home. Call your own $130 Uber. Bye. Yeah. Embarrassing, right? All the I bought you on you. All that. Take off your shoes. Take off your shoes. Take the hat off. Take the shirt off, right? Yeah, take it off because I bought it all, you dumbass. Have her buy it. Have her buy it. Have fun with the blondes. Bye. Bye. Get the f back here. You know I didn't mean that. I was drunk as sh. Shut I don't the give a f I don't give a up. Say it to the camera. I didn't you see it too. Oh, that. you don't know her? Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Katie, he's all yours, buddy. He's all yours. All yours. Nah. Yeah, my son could never. I ain't raising no son to be some sugar baby. Like, you got to be able to get your own. Unless maybe that's your wife, but still, you should be getting your own stuff. That should be pretty much your own money coming right back to you. Like, why would you want to get embarrassed like that on camera? And then you messing with girls like that, that moving out here too fast, trying to get that bag. Bruh, like, what's wrong with you? OnlyFans? OF? Like, for real? On, um, the other gentleman does know that I am married. Um, and... I don't want to leave my husband, but I don't want to break things off with this other gentleman either. So let me and let me put, let me give you another side to this, okay? So okay. number one, I don't think you love your husband. I don't. I think you love the idea of the security that seven plus years of of quasi stable relationship brings. I also think deep down you understand that you are with somebody of so little character. He doesn't mind blowing up another family so he can hook up with somebody. So I think you found yourself in like a pretty, pretty uh, dicey moral dilemma. Shorty just doesn't realize she about to lose it all. The husband, the kids, the side piece, the house, the money. And then, buddy, he's trash. He just using you for fun. He likes the enjoyment, the excitement. Because if he was a real man, he really wouldn't want to destroy your relationship, your marriage. Why? Because that karma comes back full circle. So that literally means y'all relationship is going to be doing the exact same way or something different. Y'all not about to go off and live a happily ever after life. So shorty, you a bird. Him, he lame as hell. How are you coming first? Why are you fucking coming first? What is this fucking path? Why are you coming first? Fellas, that's how women really be feeling on the inside. Some might not tell you, the real ones, if they're open and honest and like to be truthful, they'll tell you. So stop capping. If you got a wife, be honest with her. So when y'all go there, she know what to expect and you can work towards it. Things are fixable. Things can grow. But. Don't be capping because you're going to set yourself up for failure. If you don't think it matters to them, check this one out. It does matter. Guys, now the question that we have for tonight is, does sex matter to women? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yes! 
Yes. Obviously it does. Yes. If it's a one night stand, then yes. It does. Of course it sex matters to women. Of course it does. Yeah. Yeah. I caught you. Red handed. Yup. Where you going? Come on back. Come on back. Come on. We go back. We go back inside. Come on. Who you with? I've been down here. I've been seeing you on your location. About four times out there week. Why you keep coming over here? Why do you, why you keep coming over here? No, what is wrong with you? Who are you with? Can you can you tell him come on outside? Tell him come outside. No. I don't know what you got. Tell him come outside. No. Uh, no. bro, who been with this girl with the purple hair, purple locks? I'm out here. No. Come on outside. You're doing a lot. You're really doing a lot. No, I'm not. You're doing how? A how? how? When you? I just want to see. You don't give me no time, no effort, but you got all of this. Oh, you an real? investigator now? It don't saying? even matter. You're who really are you with? Like, since when did you get Who with are you with? It don't even matter. Who are you with? Tell them come outside. We're done. Tell them come outside. I don't want to hear none of that. Come outside. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on outside. Come on. Tell them. I don't want to hear nothing that you're talking about. Look, bro. Say, bro. Say, slime. Now you want to now you want to show up. Check game. Bro, you caught her. Just bounce. Don't even wait for bro to come outside. I mean, if that's your wife, if that's something like you feel like you really truly need to fight for, I guess you can stick around. But, buddy, you should just bounce. If a woman is ready to end it all just because you popped up on her, yeah, you have suspicions, she can get mad. I mean, if it, even if a male does it. I mean, if a male does it, you pop up on your dude and he really freaks out on you. If it's the first time for show, he hiding something. He got caught. He busted. Now, if they argue with you like, hey, bro, trust me, I built up a lot of trust in this relationship, so you shouldn't be doing this. That's different. But I'm telling you this right now. The person, if you try to pop up with somebody and they literally end it, they end it right there on the spot. This is the first time you've done something like that. They end it right there. First time on the spot. It's not real. She don't love you. He don't love you. They want you to hurry up and go because most times they're going to just say any and everything that they can to get you to leave the scene. So you can bounce so they can finish doing what they're doing. Then they're going to come back home and try to make it make it up to you and say whatever you want to hear because you can't prove what they did. I bet you buddy thought he was keeping it real P. He was pushing P. Pushing P. Nah, buddy. I'm going to just tell you right now. You don't get no cool points for that. I mean, I'm going to just say this straight up. If you plan on being with that woman forever, forever, ever, no matter what. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but I'm going to just give you some advice. Any fellas out there plan on get some tats. If you plan on being with your woman for no no matter what reason ever, I mean, nothing could ever keep you away from that woman. Like, she can cheat on you with everybody she meet. She can leave you, and you still will love her. You still want her. She's the only woman ever, ever, ever for you. The only one that you ever desire. You never gonna ever want another woman, no matter what she does. Then go ahead and get a net, net tattoo. But if she leaves you and you plan on getting it covered up or you don't regret it, don't do it. Because you can't guarantee the success of your relationship. I'm sorry, my brother. You have been played. Yeah, P. Keeping the P. You have been played. Pushing P. <laughs> I had it with my own son. You have sex with your own son? Own son, yeah. What did you say, nigga? How did it happen? Oh, I... Yeah, I ain't gonna speak too much on this one. This one's kind of nasty, disgusting. But the way she's looking in the corner of her head right now, in the corner of her eye, however you want to phrase it, say it, nasty. She really trying to take herself there and revisualize it. This kid gonna be messed up for the rest of his, rest of his life. This woman gonna have to deal with this. Then the children, the man... That he's supposed to raise the boy into a man, the girl into a woman. Man, your generation is going to be having to work through this family curse for a long time. Because you done set this man back for you and your jollies. You already messed up. 
I ain't gonna talk about it. Obviously, they and you, they, they shouldn't be here in America because they were. I mean, I don't see how we let this slide for a woman, but I know if it was a male here in the country, oh, he'd be dead for show for show. Like, he'd be, if the police got him, he'll, he'll go to trial, but they'll kill him in the jail. But if he didn't get caught by the, by the police, oh, he dead. Oh, he dead, dead. Oh, we all know that. He dead, dead. But I'm praying and hoping that this is a skit. Please, please, Laura, let this just be a skit. Like sometimes I, I post on my WhatsApp status that I feel like I miss my ex girls. I feel like going back to any of them to, I mean, have sex with them. And say, ah, mommy, in fact, you I'll use me as your vibrator. I have the real vibrator. I say, hey, wow. And what is your real vibrator? Is that the natural vibrator? That is the penis. Right. And I that was when I realized that my son is not that old, old but. He, he has a big he has a big thing yeah so how long was that session Six oh it was just once but just he once. has been calling me and telling me oh mommy i've missed you so anytime you you need me i can come how. and make you happy y'all y'all smoking crack something is wrong with you people did, I come and make, I did think, you enjoy it oh yeah i did enjoy it you did enjoy it yeah you missed you know that feeling but he's my son so i can't continue you, you can't continue having sex with him but did you come? Did, was he able to do it to the point where? Oh, he was able to satisfy me. He was able to satisfy. But he's my son, so. But you, so you can't continue having sex with him. Um, but anytime I feel like having sex, and I, I invite him. We will come have over. sex with you. Yeah. Is it something? You For now that I, there's no man in, uh, in my, in my life. life. Yeah, my son is there. Bitches be crazy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Colorado legalized abortion in up to nine months with no medical reason required. Do you agree with? I, I agree with that decision. Yes. Not what about meth? Uh. Like, should she be allowed to do meth? Yeah. Uh, I think if someone is doing meth while they're pregnant, that it is completely acceptable for something like, uh, I don't know what the name of the service is in the United States. Child or, services? I guess child she, yeah. well, it's her body, though. Yeah, it's her body. If she wants to do meth, what's the big deal? Uh, the big deal is that it's, she's intentionally trying to kill a child. Hold on there a minute. Yeah, and I see where we're going. Gotcha. <laughs> Gotcha. I'll explain this. I got caught another dude's name, and this is what I get. This is what I get for being caught another dude's name. For being caught another dude's name, this is what I get. See, videos like that prove to you that alphas and betas and sigmas, that stuff is real. Because ain't no way no alpha gonna let another woman call him someone else's name definitely a man because if i'm him why are you calling someone else's name i'm him i'm already here you should say my name what you tripping oh you made a mistake and you gonna break my stuff or oh, something going on that must be you must be messing with buddy buddy the way he moving recording it, she laid up in the bed on the phone probably texting this dude all uh, chillaxing on the phone like yeah i called him your name but i destroyed his stuff to throw him off like bruh Bro, rappers be rapping about dudes like you. I'ma just say that right now. The dudes they be dissing, they rapping about you. Y'all need to get this together. But I'ma say something real quick. This next video coming up is every father's nightmare. If you have a daughter, this your nightmare. I'm not gonna say what I would do, cause I ain't gonna never go through it. No, no, my girls ain't gonna do me dirty like this. No, no, no. <laughs> Embarrassing. If you could rate me from one to ten, what would you rate me? I rate you a nine. A nine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>